Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new video on the YouTube channel of Darts Actuel. Today we are honored to uh, to meet yet another PDC Tour Card holder. He is uh, Danny Baggish, North American Champion of 2019 and the first PDC Tour Card holder uh, yeah, that came through Q School from the United States. Um, just the best darts player the, the USA has seen for quite a while. Um, yeah, Danny, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you had a hectic start of 2021 lots of interviews lots of success winning your tour card obviously yeah um how are you doing now uh yeah uh, first of all thanks for having me um uh, yeah i'm doing fine it's uh it's a bit uh overwhelming uh but it's something i signed up for knowing that if uh, i got through q school i, I kind of knew all this was going to happen so um i'm okay with it uh, i'm enjoying it it's a humbling experience and uh i can't wait for the next two years at least Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you got a lot of attention on you. I mean, you you have great people behind you now. Um, you 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 got signed by management management uh, target, obviously. Like, how are you coping with all the attention on you as a person now? Out of a sudden. Yeah, I can't believe it. I, it's uh, it's crazy to think that you know. Just uh, basically a couple months ago, I was at home thinking, uh, you know, what am I going to do if I don't get my tour card and going to be tough and so forth and now now i'm over here i'm a professional dart player and uh it, it's exciting and uh, uh target and, and all my other sponsors it's it's just an unbelievable dream come true look at that I'm, I'm very glad you made it let's talk about the super series um yeah the first pro tour event for you as a, as a tour card holder um you, yeah you you've won one game 500 pounds on the, on the order of merit how are you looking back at, at the, the tournament? Yeah, I didn't play play bad at all, uh, really. I uh, missed a couple of uh, – my timing was bad with the doubles, uh, even if it was just, you know, any one to three darts. But four-day average of right around 91, 92. Uh, my scoring was great, and I uh, just didn't catch the breaks that uh, maybe I needed. Uh, so it, it's a learning experience. It doesn't – it's not going to be built overnight. And I know that uh, I have the game to compete, and – Throughout the year, uh, I'm hopefully I can show that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely showed your level. I mean, you played well, as you as you already said. Um, played against some great uh, opponents as well. Um, your first game was directly on the live stream of uh, PDC TV. Um, was that uh, maybe another extra pressure, or were you happy that you already get got that part of the of the pro tool I've done with, like playing on the uh, uh, streaming stage? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, you, you have so so much time to prepare for something like uh, Alexander Palace when you play for the World Championships, mm -hmm. and, and you can get mentally prepared and so forth. Uh, being the first match on, uh, yeah, I was actually a little nervous, so um, it, it was okay, though. I, I still played uh, played good. I still played pretty good. Uh, Keen uh, hit some big outs uh, when I'm sitting on a two-dart double, so. Um, yeah, uh, I'm glad I got that out the way, and uh, I played better on the stream against Scott Waits, but he just outclassed me. He played phenomenal. Um, but uh, the more I get comfortable, the more the wins will start coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how were those first days on the pro tour for you? Like talking about the people that that greeted you. I mean, obviously the 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 the, the pro tour, the tour card holders, they know you. They know who Danny Baggish is. Um, we've seen you on some live streams with Matthew Edgar. Um, yeah, do you already have some friends over there on the pro tour, like some people that can help you with stuff you 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 need help with? Yeah, they they've all been so good. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, they're all, at the end of the day, they're all they're all family, human beings. Uh, I've never met anyone that was rude. Uh, and they, anything I needed, uh, there was a, a lot of them that, you know, gave me advice, uh, help or whatever the case may be. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great to, to know that I'm in the room with 127, uh, tour card holders and the best in the world. And, and they're just, uh, like I am and they they reach out and, and help when needed. That's uh, that's great to hear. Yeah. You, you are the first player from the United States to, um, to, to get through Q school and win a tour card. Um, yeah, we've seen the, the CDC tour developing. We've seen more um, uh, Canadian players getting their tour card and doing doing well. American players doing well as well. But yeah, how do you think American darts is developing now? And especially now you are um, an example of how 
an American darts player can succeed in darts? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, you know, me being the one to, to able to get through to the Q school and, and get my card, I think that's huge for, for U.S. darts because uh, the inspiration that, that I've uh, inspired a lot of dart players um, reaching out to me and telling me that um, they want to do what I'm doing and, and so forth. Uh, I think you're going to have five, six, seven, eight players from the U.S. come over next year and try, try their luck at Q school. Uh, I, I just kind of proved that. Uh, we, we can compete and uh, with the CDC and, and them getting us right and, and so forth. I, I think, you know, you're going to have a couple tour card holders next year from the, the U S. Mm -hmm. Are you also a prime example that the, the CDC tour and how professional they, they uh, organize their stuff that the CDC said them so that the CDC tour works. It does work. And the biggest thing is uh, the quality of players that are on that tour. You have to have a card as well to play that tour, um, a CDC tour card. So being able to play them uh, on a weekly basis, no, no disrespect to any other players in the U.S., but you have to play the top players all the time uh, in order to get better and compete. So uh, the CDC is where it's at, and uh, they're, gonna, they're developing these players, uh, and they're going to be ready for next year. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just talking about the CDC, I mean, I think you are allowed to play the CDC tournaments and it is a way to, for you to, um, qualify for the world championships. Um, are there any plans on playing those tournaments in your own country as well? It's going to be tough, uh, with, with COVID and all that. Um, so, you know, PDC, uh, tours, <clears throat> my number one option. And if I have to stay over here or, or I can't make a tournament for the CDC because of a tournament coming up for the PDC, then uh, I'm just going to have to stay over here and play the PDC. Uh, ultimately, I want to get to the World Championships through the PDC and the mm -hmm. top 64. So uh, that's, my, that's my mindset. And uh, I think I have the game to do it. And uh, whether it's this year or next year, um, I think I can do it. I think we all uh, know you can do it. Um At least you are lucky with the plan B now that the CDC tour. But um, yeah, like another tour card holder from, from Canada, from North America is Jeff Smith. That's, I think Smith, um, he travels a lot back and forth between Canada and the UK. Um, what, are you, what are your plans re related to traveling back and forth? Will you find a place to live over there in the UK or will you stay home in, in the United States? Yeah, everyone uh, deals with uh, family differently and, and so forth. You know, Jeff likes to travel back and forth, which is, um, you know, his right to do so. So um, it works for him. Uh, me, myself, uh, I feel like I have to stay over here a lot and practice with these players, uh, whether it's online or whatever the case may be, and uh, <clears throat> get my game right. So uh, technology is great. Uh, I'm able to FaceTime my kids. That's the biggest th important thing for me because I'm a big family man. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if it wasn't for FaceTime, I, I don't think I'd be over here. So um, I, I get the, the comfort level of, of seeing my son and, and my daughter uh, through FaceTime two, three times a day. So that kind of warms my heart and uh, makes me focus on the, the task at hand of being a tour card holder. That's great to hear. So it means, if I understand it correctly, you have a nice place where you live now in the UK and you'll, you'll stay like that for a while now. Yeah. I might go back once or twice throughout mm -hmm. the year. Um, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm going to be over here a lot. That's good to hear. Um, yeah. Upcoming tournament this weekend, the UK open, uh, another new major for you. Um, you will play on the, the TV uh, once again. Um, yeah. What, what, what do you think? What, what will happen on the UK open for you? What, what, what do you expect? Uh, uh, I love playing on the stage. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I just, I just love it. I, I love, uh, people watching me play. Um, I'm not the, the arrogant or cocky type. I just, uh, I just love to perform in front of people and, um, yeah, I'm looking to play well at the UK open. I, I feel like, uh, that the PDC series was huge for me, uh, getting my feet wet and, uh, the, me being comfortable. So, Uh, if I get going in the first match and, and uh, get past my first match and second match, um, I don't know a lot. You know, I don't know a lot of players that would want to draw me in the fourth round. Well, look at that. Um, yeah, for me, looking at the draw, like you, you have to play against Brett Clayton first, then uh, Tian or uh, then Tian, and then Restovich or Jakes. 
Um, I mean, I kind of expect your answer already, but I, the draw gives some opportunities for you, right? If you just look at, um, I mean, you you could have drawn worse players if you if you look at the draw. No, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brett Brett is uh, another TCL uh, member, uh, exactly, so yeah. we're, we're teammates. So, um, and, he, and he really is, uh, you know, he lost with a hundred plus average over the PDC series, and uh, he's a quality player, and I have respect for him. Um, but uh, you know, if I'm I'm able one match at a time, if I'm able to get past Brett, and uh, I look at the bracket as well, and uh, I like you said, I, I it could have been worse. Could have could have been worse, but yeah, look at look at the first game first, Brett Clayton from your from your management indeed. Um, yeah, you're now a PDC tour card holder. Um, I mean, you you said you already. Uh, yeah, you can't believe it right now. I mean, it, it's weird to feel like a PDC tour card holder. I can imagine, but the next two uh, two years will be. Um, yeah, you will be a PDC tour card holder. What will what what are your expectations? What are your goals for the next two two years? I don't ever want to relinquish the, the tour card. Uh, I, I want to be, you know, I'm, I'm the first American to get it through Q school. And, and I want to be the American that holds it for until I retire and, and not play darts anymore. And uh, I think I have the game to do so. I think I have the mentality and I have the drive to do so. So, yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait. Um, I, I want to win at least one PDC title. And I feel like uh, with a couple breaks and me just playing, uh, how I know I can and, and score and hit my doubles. Um, why not? Why can't I? Look at that. Danny Begish already made history as an American darts player. And he wants to make history yet again. Uh, thank you, uh, Danny, for this uh, interview. And uh, good luck at the UK Open and uh, the next few years as uh, as a tour card holder. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for having me, guys.